I hope you're all doing really well. Happy Christmas. This is probably the last of my Christmas videos, which is really sad because they've been going for quite some time. I think I started them in October. <laughs> but yeah, we are now the like a few days before Christmas and I wanted to do a get organized with me for Christmas and maybe a just get it all done for Christmas. I think I said Christmas quite a few times there. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit stressed just because there's loads of work still coming in. Not work, but um, like press stuff that I do. So writing articles and it's amazing, but obviously I've got so much other Christmassy stuff to be doing and organizing, but I think I've just finished the final one. So now it's time to get organized. So I need to do loads of jobs around the house, just some little painting jobs, some, uh, organizing some shopping for last minute stocking stuff I also need to go into town because I got sent something for a man that, well, that I was gifting that was sent as a ladies item like totally different to what I ordered so yeah there's just lots of little jobs that need doing Christmas menu planning some Christmas food planning like shopping haul so yeah hopefully this will be enjoyable if you are also getting ready if you're in tier four or you know you may not be in the UK but over here we are in tiers now we are still in tier two so we are able to go out but I'm very mindful that not everyone is in that position so if you're not then obviously I'm just feel awful for you hopefully yeah, hopefully you're getting through it and you manage to feel festive. Definitely chuck on some Christmas films, get some hot chocolate, get the fairy lights on and just enjoy not having to rush around. I know that probably isn't good advice because you just want to be doing things and seeing people, but we have got to make the best of this awful, awful situation. So yeah, let's get busy. Let's, let's get busy. Let's get organizing. Please, 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 please. One little favor I would love from you is to subscribe to my channel because I don't think I'm going to do it now because we are so close to the end of Christmas but I've only got about 800 subscribers to go before hitting 50,000 which was my goal for the year and I'd absolutely adore to have you here in this audience. I love to share lots of organizing and money saving budgeting videos, lots of ideas to help you live your best life on a budget so I'd love to have you here for three videos every single week and yeah I can't wait to share more with you next year it's gonna be a really exciting year but anyway let's go on with the video if you do enjoy it please like it to help other people find it and then if you do enjoy my channel please do subscribe or share with your friends if you think they might like it as well I'm gonna stop rambling this is a really long intro but this is gonna be one of those videos where I just get it all done and just spend the day with you so let's go and let's get busy <laughs> so i am working my way through my christmas magazines now i couldn't bring myself to spend 5.99 on the current good food magazine that's crazy isn't it so these ones are from just 2008 but they cost £3.30 so yeah I'm going in and the best thing is these are you know these recipes are still very valid and very modern so yeah I'm just going to go through and work out the sort of things that I want to cook for Christmas and the days leading up to well say that we're only two days away but uh, the days around it now the way that I write down the Christmas list especially is I write down a section so I will write veg on one page meat on the other uh, puddings on another and just miscellaneous and then I will go back through and I will write them in order of the shop because it's obviously hectic and you don't want to be too close to people anyway and yeah it just means that it's in order so you don't miss anything so I really recommend that if you don't do that so I'm just going to go through now and check which recipes I want to do and then just write down the food needed for those and then put it back in order <laughs> Sorry, by the way, if you can hear my washing machine going, it's it's been a busy time for that washing machine. I'm surprised it's still with us, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna try and put you up here on some on some Play-Doh. <laughs> just keeping it real. So, um, whoa, okay, this is quite good. That's quite good to stand there. So what I've done then, uh, I have written down, oh, also drinks as well. So what I've written down as well are some drinks because I do want to do some like cocktails. Obviously we're on our own and I just want to make it a little bit special in the evenings when the children go to bed and it feels like we're having like that grown up time. Well, they'll probably be passed out on the sofa by about nine o'clock, let's be honest. So I want to make some cocktails and I've been looking into some kind of cocktails that you can buy which you only need a couple of ingredients and then you can make lots of different ones. So I'm going to get some soda water, some pink grapefruit juice, some ginger beer and some orange juice 
And then I also want to get some oranges and pink grapefruits for garnish and some lime. And then just some Prosecco and some vodka because we, all, we already have like the gins that we need. And then um, it's easier to show you here. Um, so um, the meat, streaky bacon, sausages, sausage meat and bacon. Uh, we've already ordered the turkey crown and the ham. Uh, and then I need some condiments like I, I need some maple syrup, whole grain mustard, bay leaf, cinnamon stick for the ham and uh, mayo and horseradish just because on Boxing Day we make Christmas baguettes which oh, they're so good. So they're basically turkey, stuffing, uh, pigs in blanket, cranberry sauce and mayonnaise and then it's all leftovers and we put it in a cooked baguette and oh my gosh, it's like the nicest thing ever. It's really quick and easy to do as well. So that's what that's for. And then, yeah, so then I just write it in order and then we've got things like carrots, Mary Piper potatoes, baby tomatoes, avocado, broccoli. I tend to get also some like fresh, fresh veggies like avocado and tomatoes because the days after Christmas, sometimes I just want something fresh and like not too greasy and heavy, like roast dinner stuff. Uh, and cheese for the cheese board. And then some normal things like bread and milk. So that's all that. So that is those. So that will be, Sue's gonna go and collect that. I will go and buy it. So this is my list of jobs to do. We've got paint the wall, paint the windowsill, clean the carpet, clean the windows, clean the internal windows, because George is a fan of putting his fingers all over those. Tidy, uh, shopping, sort the stockings out, get them out of the cupboard, ready for Santa. Check the presents. I just need like one final check to make sure everyone's got everything. You know, that not that we're going anywhere, but I don't want to not have it ready. Uh, table decorations, I need to get down and get that sorted. I tend to make the table like the day before, so then it's done. And then batteries in the garden for garden lights and charge batteries for like the spare ones. So that is the list to do. There's a lot to do, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna do uh, the shopping. I'm also gonna go to Home Bargains now because I need to just get a few little last minute bits. And um, yeah, ooh, busy. <laughs> We got some of these bells from Stuart's Wife. I don't know if you've seen them. They are amazing. Basically, tonight, at, oh, sorry, Christmas Eve, 6 pm, go out and ring it. So, if you've got any kind of a bell, go out there and ring it at 6 o'clock. And it's just basically a message to Santa to say that we're here and we believe. And then the little church group that they went to before it shut sent them this. It's so sweet. And some homemade ones. Mom, yes, can Angel. Oh, I think you might be able to because you're in your most festive top. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, baby. Fix Woody's uh, head because he, it fell off, didn't it? Anything in here at the moment? No. Oh, yeah, the little hat chipped as well. Our little Harry Potter decks. So cute. Oh, I'm just gonna go now to home. Oh, you can't even see me. I'm just gonna put my Christmas lights on. Have you seen these? Um, can you see them? Yes, there we go. These ones are from the range. So, uh, yeah, they're really cute. Oh, my little homemade wreath. It's dying a little bit now, it's a bit old. Made this little wreath out of basically three things. Three, not three. Uh, and yeah, I, oh, it's fallen off. I really love that. Yeah, I wanted to show you these. These are from the range and they just go all the way around. They're really long. Pretty, pretty. Anyway, what I was saying before I break the wreath is that I'm going to go into town now. I'm not going to take you with me because it's going to be hectic and busy and I'm going to be wearing a mask and all that good stuff. So you won't be able to see me anyway. But I'm going to change this thing that I got sent. That was for a female and it's for a male. And then I'm going to go to Home Bargain. So I will see you when I get back and it's raining, so I'll be really wet it's so dark now i've just got back home i had a migraine probably the worst one i've ever had it actually went over so i get like um aura migraines i think they're called visual migraines where it's i don't know if it's coming back actually and i was trying to walk through it and like keep going i think i don't know if they're like stress induced because obviously this morning was really stressful trying to get the article written and i don't know if that caused it but yeah i've been running around but it went across two eyes and I couldn't see it i was like I think I'm gonna fall over, I'm gonna be sick in the middle of home bargains, but I just had to get back. But anyway, we're back now, I'm back now. So uh, I won't do a haul of what I've got, but 
just got a few little bits and bobs for Stu and a pair of black jeans for him as well because he got a big split in his yesterday and they're like his favourite jeans so I thought that would be a nice Christmas present for him. So I'm now going to start editing this video. I'm going to just have a bagel, no not a bagel, a crumpet. I shouldn't have these because I've got wheat and I'm not allowed wheat apparently but I think I'm really really hungry and that's making me feel a bit dizzy as well. So yeah and then I'll edit this and then it's time to get on with jobs but I have I've put my uh, pajamas on because comfort is key right? This is a really dangerous position. <laughs> I'll link this again for you in the description bar. It's really handy. It's got all of the little bits of Bob's here to store wrapping accessories and then loads and loads of rolls of wrapping notes in there as well. I'll link that for you. It's just from Amazon. But yeah, so that's the final bits of presents done, I think. Uh, as far as I know, anyway, I keep thinking I've forgotten some, but I think this is everything. I'm going to pop all of my brothers and nieces and everyone's presents in here because we are not going to see them. Obviously, we're not allowed to now. So we were only going to go for a walk anyway. But now uh, we've got this for my nieces. So I'm going to pack these guys away, and then um, ooh, we can take it down nice and easily like that. And then it's just done. It was under the tree, but I, we aren't. They're not coming here. So yeah, that should be nice and organised in there like that. So this carpet is really old and it's covered in stains but obviously we can't really place it because we hopefully won't be here forever so um that's actually not a stain it's just a shadow but um yeah so we're just going to clear up the what we can with the yeah, stain remover aren't we that's the royal way <laughs> we <laughs> let's see what you're using troubleshooter yeah, hopefully that will bring it up. I should have done a before and after. Let's really? find a stain, a oh. big one, to see if it's going to come up. It's like food, obviously we eat in here and we've got the rug there, but a lot of the children's food goes on the floor, so yes, it needs to be done. I'm just going to get the a rubber glove and get some of this fluff up, which is just Maggie's fur. You, see, you know how fluffy she is. Uh, but yeah, it's really easy to do. You just get a, a rubber glove and wet it a little bit and then you just push it all around and it comes up really nicely. Alternatively, you could use a uh, lint roller as well. So yeah, I'm just going to clean that one. And this one, there is like, what well, can you really think of? Maybe some chocolate marks from when they have a chocolate from the tree. So yeah, I'll just wipe those off as well, just to give it a bit of a freshen up. that is it done you won't be able to tell until it's all dried and vacuumed so i'll show you that again tomorrow so this is our little bar cart corner it's just tucked away i still haven't found something to replace this yet which i need to do because it just does not go as many of you told me in our, one of my videos uh but yeah so this wall everyone asked me what color this is i think it's called City. In fact, I'll show you in a minute because he's going to get the paint out. So what we're going to do is just literally paint. So these are some holes in the wall where I put this sign up, which is so easy. And then just little marks along here where it just gets scuffed all the time. So it's a really quick job, but it does make a big difference. So this is it for everyone that has asked me. I get asked all the time whenever I film in this dining room. It's City called Life. City Life. By Crown, indulgent, rich and creamy matte emulsion. So the paint has seen better days. It's really old and it didn't have the lid on properly. Kind of, yeah, a little bit lumpy, but we're gonna go with that. So 
a nice full fridge as well. And I just want to show you these. These are, this is what I make on Christmas Day morning and also grateful if you've got guests coming over, if you're allowed them or in general, like on one of the days. And you can freeze them as well. It's literally put puff pastry down and then you just get some sausage meat or sausages if you don't have sausage meat and then a little bit of either mustard or you can use uh, cranberry sauce which i've got there somewhere and then you just spread it out when it's flat roll it up egg wash the top pop it in the oven for maybe 20 minutes really hearty like canapes or you know appetizers to eat when people come over and they double up really well for mince pies as well. It's really dark now but you can see that all the uh, white dots and marks are all painted over now. You can even see through there. <laughs> Blankets in a mess but you can see it's so clear. And yeah this area is sorted and also did I show you the carpet? The carpet oh, is also mark free so that's amazing. It's literally like come up brand new almost. A few marks uh, but yeah. Need another hula. So this year I actually bought some napkins and a table runner, which I don't normally do. I usually use the same one. But I think it was like just after lockdown and I was like, this, I just want this to be like a really lovely Christmas. It's going to be normal again after all this time. And obviously we are still in the same situation. However, I did, yeah, invest in these. I thought they were really nice. They go with our napkin rings. And then I'm just going to do simply some... Uh, fur cones like this I'm going to repurpose these I'm going to use these for decorations these came with that bouquet that I did that craft video on if you didn't see it I'll link it excuse the miles mounds of washing and also I got these sent from my management for a Christmas present I'm really disappointed those ones have already gone I don't know why I've only just got them but yeah that was such a lovely surprise that and some chocolates from them just to say happy Christmas I'm looking forward to next year working together so how have I done on this? That's done. That needs to be done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That needs to be done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. And that needs to be done. We made it. We've got most of the jobs done. What were you doing at the time of watching this? Were you getting everything done, organising? Were you just chilling and relaxing and just enjoying the festive spirit? Either way, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Maggie is making her normal noises. I think she just wants to say, Happy Christmas! One last shot from Maggie for Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys, and that I will see you in the new year. Or there's actually going to be two more videos coming up, which are going to be planning for no by year. So if you're into that, then that will be coming before the end of this year and like money habits and stuff. So yeah, I can't wait to see you very soon here. Happy, happy Christmas. I hope you're well and getting through it. And here's to hopefully a better 2021, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you so soon. Bye.